It's Sunsoft Grand Prix on Game Boy Works, episode 91. Altogether, European Game Boy fans received localized versions of about 16 or 17 Japanese games that never made their way to the US. With Sunsoft Grand Prix, this series is already up to three. Of these three, this game's absence from American retailers makes the most sense. Boulder Dash was always bigger in Europe than in the US, whereas Othello's absence was downright bizarre. Sunsoft Grand Prix, on the other hand, continues the pattern we've seen on NES Works of publishers preferring not to publish their Formula One racers in the US. Americans just don't seem to be all that crazy about F1 racing outside of the famous Indianapolis 500. As someone who doesn't follow racing, the distinctions between the likes of F1 and NASCAR seem pretty vague to me. Where it's easy to see the unique nature of something like the Paris Dakar Rally, which involves driving across multiple continents on actual roads, F1 is your classic closed circuit race that sees cars speeding around and around a rounded, elongated track against seemingly identical cars. Formula One specifically involves the use of open wheel cars, and as it happens, is basically the ultimate evolution of go karting. Or maybe go karting as F1 diminished for the masses. You start out karting, get serious about it, put your foot in the professional door by racing in Formula 4, steadily work your way through the numbers until you get to Formula 1, then find a sponsor who will pay for your wheeled rocket and potentially share in the millions of dollars F1 victors take home. In any case, you can look at F1 games as the buttoned down, serious adult form of Mario Kart. No shell tossing, no ghost houses, just endless loops around an oval. The biggest difference between F1 racing and stock car racing is that F1 vehicles are purpose-built to be fast, light, and demonstrate razor-sharp handling and performance. Stock cars, as the name suggests, are more like standard road-legal vehicles modified for speed and handling, and as such can't reach the insane top speeds of F1 cars. Anyway, the point is, Europe loves F1. You might also assume that Europe also loves Sunsoft Grand Prix, but in point of fact, I've been unable to find a single substantial review or retrospective on the game under its localized title, or its original title in Japan, F1 Boy. Despite its localized release, it seems to have slipped beneath the waves of anonymity. Like most sports and racing games that don't involve Mario, really, people play them, enjoy them, then move along without the need to dwell over long on their memories. Sunsoft Grand Prix does have the distinction of being the Game Boy's first good racing game. Well, I guess Motocross Maniacs was pretty good, but it wasn't really your typical racer. Whereas this is very much your traditional top-down F1 racer. It doesn't try to be a platformer like Motocross Maniacs, and it doesn't involve any misguided attempts at goofy half-pipe tricks and cheap track hazards the way Dead Heat Scramble did. It's simply a race for the pole position around the convoluted tracks against seven other competitors, with the prize going to the car that manages to place first at the end of 3 or 30 laps. Sunsoft Grand Prix offers more than a dozen different courses set around the world, and it offers players the opportunity to use a huge variety of different cars. You can select automatic or manual transmission, the size of your engine, and more. Automatic transmission cars tend to handle and accelerate better, while manual cars generally have higher top speeds. Realistically, it's pretty pointless to use the automatic cars, as any vehicle with a top speed below 370 km per hour is going to be a struggle. The game's fastest car starts up like a station wagon and slides around corners with all the grace of a cow on ice, but once you manage to build up some momentum, it's essentially unstoppable. You can select the number of laps you want for each race, anywhere between 3 and 30, and the cars with higher speed caps excel when you allow each race to go on long enough to work through their glacial acceleration rate. Once the race begins, the game offers no surprises. If you choose a car with strong acceleration, you'll pull ahead of the pack right away but struggle to maintain the lead. A slower car with a higher top speed will begin sluggishly but reward players who can avoid driving over the track edges and slowing down. Again, no surprises for anyone who's ever played any racing game ever, but sometimes all you want is a good, steady example of a genre executed well. And that describes Sunsoft Grand Prix to a T. Its respectability shouldn't come as too big a surprise, even if the name Sunsoft Grand Prix is slightly misleading. Sunsoft's only real role in this game was to publish it in Europe. In Japan, Ask published it, and Lenar handled the actual development work. 
Of course, you'll remember Lenar from the weird and wonderful Mercenary Force, and perhaps from Deadly Towers before that. The same technical skill the studio demonstrated for Mercenary Force, a kooky blend of Gradius and Bokoska Wars, shines through here. The game moves smoothly, handles well, and feels quite fair. Even includes a few minor exploits for the canny player, namely the ability to drive over narrow portions of track dividers in order to take a shortcut and cut your race time. And on top of that, it includes a number of different jaunty chiptunes to accompany your portable driving experience. All in all, it's a perfectly pleasant racer. Completely lost to history due to its close proximity to Nintendo's F1 race and that game's stunning four-person link capabilities. Oh well. Sunsoft Grand Prix may have vanished into obscurity due to circumstance, but it is a well-crafted little racer, and that's a real rarity on Game Boy. I don't imagine much of anyone is hunting for old racing games for Game Boy in this day and age, but if the urge should ever strike you, you could do a lot worse than Sunsoft Grand Prix. Next on Game Boy Works, it's your old pal, Jaja Maru. <laughs> 